Welcome back. In today's video, we want to use or apply the phasor domain analysis technique to determine the current through the capacitor ICFT. So we want to adopt the positive cosine format. That's the first thing as always. However, here we have our expression in the cosine format. We then transfer from the time domain to the phasor domain and determine the impedances of our circuit elements. So the resistor stay the same for the capacitor and our current source, which we transform over is equal to 12 times the complex exponential exponential e to the j minus 60. Our impedance for our capacitor is equal to minus j times 15.92 ohms. This is in milliamp. So we can then go ahead where we have the green, we can use apply KCL at that branch. So we can then say I of S is equal to the current through the resistor plus the current through the capacitor. So that is our source current is equal to the current through the resistor plus the current through the capacitor. The current through the capacitor is then equal to the current through the, the source current times R divided by R plus the impedance for the capacitor, which we can write as one over J omega C, or just leave as Z because we already have the impedance for the capacitor. So this is then equal to 12 times the complex exponential e to the minus j 60 degrees as in milliamps. So we include e to the minus three times 20 ohms divided by 20 ohms minus a j 15.92. And that is for the impedance for the capacitor. So we can simplify this by division. So we convert the numerator into polar form. So the the numerator, the denominator into polar form. So the numerator is going to equal to 0 0.24 times the complex exponential e to the minus e to the j minus 60 we apply complex algebra identity to our denominator. So we use the positive square root of 20. The positives, the positive square root of 20 square plus 15.92 square is equal to, in our case, 25.56. and then times the complex exponential e to the j theta. Theta is inverse tangent, 15, you can put negative 15 if you want, 15.92 divided by 20, and we get minus j 38.52. Polar form, we divide it, we, polar form is easier to divide, we divide and multiply in polar form, Add and subtract in rectangular. So here we have polar form. We divide this then equal to 9.4 e to the minus j 21.5. So therefore, this is basically I, I of t. We use the relationship between Let's just write it here. The relationship between the time domain and the phasor domain. So therefore we can just convert that over to the time domain, which I of T is 9.4 times cosine 
and omega t is 2 pi times 10 to the power of 4 times t minus 21.5 degrees and that's in milliamps so i c of t is equal to the following so that is it for our expression and also this here i c of t is equal to the real part of our current or phasor counterpart of i c of t times the complex exponential e to the j omega which is 2 pi times 10 to the power of 4 times t so that's it for today's problem so i'll see you in the next one bye